This is crackers. Chicane. Oh, he's managed to get it round. Look at this. He looks a right cheeky so and so. Round the berm. Only just made it. Here he comes. Oh, dear me. This is a disaster. These are our top six soapboxes that got the fans whipped into a frenzy of delight. Never before have we seen a soapbox as a statue from Easter Island. Perfect score at the top. Now let's see what happens. Wide axle, pram wheels, often a recipe for disaster. Let's see. Off they go. Nice and quick at the top of the circuit. It's also a handlebar steering system, so everything factors against this team, despite the performance at the top. Uh, the design is pretty much everything you wouldn't do for a soapbox, and they can't get through there. It's too wide, I think. Straight into carpool, and they beached it. Now they can't get it out of the hay bales. And plenty of work in the gym with these. Oh, he's missed it, look. <laughs> he missed it. Who moved that? He was just about to get in. <laughs> right, try again, then you go. OK. <laughs> right, on we go then. So they now know it's essentially too wide for the course. So let's see what happens now. They're still chasing down the two lads at the back because they know there might be problems ahead. Here's the bone shaker. Can they get through the bone shaker? No! Oh! <laughs> it's too wide. They can't get over the steps. The axle's too wide. Go on, drag it down, fellas. Here we go. Now, can he get in this time? Oh, dear. It's just too wide for the circuit. They can't have read the rules and regulations when they built it. Right, here we go. Here we go again, look. Down towards the finish. I've never seen anything like this. Here we go. Can they get round there? Ooh, just about, yeah. Look at the state of it now. It's literally sliding down over the finish line. 141.61. One of the most bizarre runs I think I can remember. That smoke seems to be a recurring theme here in Turin, doesn't it? Oh, those eggs will be fried by the time they get to the bottom, if they get to the bottom. Look at the look on those two's faces, especially the driver, who looks a right cheeky so-and-so. Round the berm, only just made it, didn't they? Crikey, nearly troll, but the eggs stay in the pan. Uh, that grin is getting more manic the further down they go. Here's the kicker, still OK. Not quite sure what the driver's looking at, but let's not worry about that too much. Plenty of speed over the ramp. Still they go down. There's a decent run over the finish line. Good run by Lapadella. Oh! Sister of the brains of the operation. Uh, they're students from Lausanne, they're studying sport. They love skiing, they love that kind of thing. Those adrenaline sports, so they should be perfectly suited here today. There's the odd board shot from inside the soapbox. It's nice and bright, this one. And it's picking up a fair deal of speed. Almost managed to clear that middle section. Here we go through the chicane. Oh, not through the chicane. Halfway through the chicane. I think that was a case of a pilot getting too excited by the speed. Now they're going to try and push their way down to the finish. And there's still a fair way to go. Oh, he's barely lost it. Over the bone rattler. They can see the funny side. There's the finish. And over the wedge. <laughs> and a little clip in the air as well. <laughs> handlebars at the front. A bath with handlebars and small wheels. And a berm on the horizon straight away. <laughs> and he's getting covered at the back. Let's have a look through the berm then. Really fast into that. Really fast into that. A really good... Oh, he's... Just kept a hold of it. No idea how he got through there. He's got no idea. He just hung on and let nature take its course. Right. They can slow down a wee bit through the chicane, although not much. Absolutely flying through there. The potholes are next, and then we've got the kicker. This is shaping up to be really impressive. Bath time, making a mark here. 33. We've seen faster through there. Here's the kick. Oh, he just stayed in the bath at the back. They nearly tips him out. Oh, there we go. So we've got the caravan attached to the car, which seems to be going in reverse for some bizarre reason. 
Well, they've got no chance here, surely. Around the berm, around the berm, around the... Oh, they're all right so far. Eyes in the back of his head. Now we've got the kicker, the first reverse soapbox that we've ever had here. This is crackers. Chicane. Oh, he's managed to get it round. Look at this. Now they've got the car wash. This is really narrow. He's straight through. Look at this for a run. What about the time? He's gone backwards all the way. That's astonishing. 34.64 in reverse from top to bottom. Oh, he's in there, look. Will that make it all the way down to the bottom up there? What do you think? Anyway, off we go. Still there at the moment, through the chicane. Steering this particular soapbox might be his biggest challenge because that weight on the top is going to make it very awkward. He's OK up to now. Red Bull alert, still going strong, landed on the back wheel. I thought he might come a cropper there, but he's managed to keep it going. And he's pointing to the crowd. Here he comes then, can he go? Oh, he's knocked the finish line down. 